So what do, what do, what do our employees want out of a leader? And there's several things that really stand out. One thing is they, we know that our employees want to have someone that's approachable, that they can go and, and, and be able to talk with on a regular basis. They also want uh, a, a person that is a good listener, someone that's going to be interested in what they're saying and, and, and interpret what they're saying. They want a leader that uh, can have some efficient systems put into place. And they also want uh, a leader that uh, will be showing some recognitions, whether or not it's rewarding or, or, or recognizing people for, for their good performance. So if we take that information and we try to put this into uh, what rounding is all about, and I'm going to talk to you about what it is, why we do it, how, and then we're going to do a little bit of role play. Karen and I will do a role play for you. I'm sure you'll be entertained with that. And then uh, there'll be an opportunity for Karen to show you some more results. This slide really represents if you don't do rounding in your organization. Because if you don't do rounding, things are going to be unclear. Things are going to be confusing to, to individuals. And you can see all the other descriptors up there. People are going to be perplexed. They're not going to know what the direction is. And that's key, is to have a sound foundation. And rounding actually establishes that in our organization. Now, a couple things that rounding is not. Rounding is not just management by wandering around in your building or at your district <laughs> office. Okay, it can't, it can't be that. It has to be a scheduled opportunity for, for the people that supervise. Rounding is also not just doing the proverbial wave. Hi, Dan. How's it going today back there? Things going okay? It can't be that. Um, it has to be very personal. And you'll see that as, as we do the role play in just a little bit. And then all this, rounding can't be reactive. We have to be in a proactive sense. A lot of times in, in education, what we end up finding is we just fall prey into listening to the negatives all the time. And so we try to focus in on, on some positive things that go on. And so we don't focus on what's wrong. We try to focus on what's right. And then the last thing, it just can't be um, a, a person just being out in the building. It has to be an established routine by those that are going to conduct the rounding exercise. <laughs> 